British Gladiator up against Aussie Challenger and vice versa as we go into our first game. Pyramid. 60 seconds to get to the top. The first to hit the button gets 10 points. First up the pyramid is Kerry from Australia and Karen from the UK. And trying to stop them are our gladiators Vogue from the UK and Cheetah from Australia. Cheetah and Kieran, that should be a very interesting matchup. Hyde and White looks pretty close. Whereas on the other side, Kerry and Vogue, well, Kerry's a heavier and a taller athlete, she might have the advantage. And over to our lead referee for this game, John Anderson. John Anderson, current British Olympic team coach. Tonight's international rules have been agreed on by both countries. Ready! This is how the Ashes works. Two weeks of heats, the third week the final, and for a country to win the Ashes, you must have a male and female champion at the end. And here we go with the first game of the Ashes. Kerry and Vogue on the left. Kerry and Chino on the right. Can Kerry get away from Vogue? Oh, beautiful tackle there by Chino. Good work. Oh, look at this. Kerry's got away from Vogue. Vogue's going to get too high up, but she's got her right on the top. And look at this. Kerry's got up there. She's got 10. Oh, what happened there? Chino released her, and she got up the side. Now it's all up to Kerry to try and get the five points remaining. Bo just holding her up there. Good work, Bo. She's not giving her a chance to move at all. Kerry now looking for the opportunity. Can she push her away? Maybe she might come down the way. No, she's away. But she didn't get much of a chance. Bo is right on her table. She's not going to let her lose this time like she did a few seconds ago. Kerry's still trying to get away. Can she large up there? Yes, she's got five points for Australia. This is a great start for the Ashes. Fantastic competition. Well, there it is. Kieran is just too quick on her feet and she manages to get the 10 points for Great Britain. First up, a great effort by Kerry. She lunges, touches the button. Five points for herself and her country. Karen, what a start to the Battle of the Ashes. 10 points. Yeah, I'm really pleased about that. I thought if I don't get that top the first time, I'll be too tired and I'll not be able to do it. Kerry, you'd certainly be happy with that. Certainly, yeah. I didn't want to have to climb all the way up there for nothing. That's for certain. Well, England's opened up an early lead over Australia. Ten points to Kieran, five to Kerry. I was representing myself in the first series, but now it's the Ashes. You're carrying your whole country on your back. It's just the best feeling. OK, the girls have just shown us the way to the top of the pyramid. So let's have a look how the boys get on. At the base of the pyramid, from Great Britain, is Phil. And from Australia, it's David. At the top of the pyramid, they're going to be facing, from Australia, the mighty Ahama. And from Great Britain, the awesome Warrior. It's the same old story for David. They're always bigger and heavier. But this guy, he's huge. And Phil comes up against the seasoned hammer. 5'11 to 6 foot 2, 82 kilos to 96. Tendos ready! What a fantastic game the women's pyramid was. Let it Let's go. see if the guys can make it just as exciting. Oh, the Ashes is great competition. Country versus country and competitor versus gladiator. We've got Phil and Hammer on the left. We've got David and Warrior on the right. They swap over now. Can David get away? Yes, he has for Warrior. Warrior's gone over the top. David's gone up to the top. He's got the 10 points for Australia. What a great start for David. Get on, get on, Let's have a look now what's happening with Phil and Hammer. Hammer's got Phil down there. He's trying to get away. Hammer's lost his helmet. Whistles blow. Game to stop now while we'll Hammer can put his on. helmet back on. And we'll restart again very shortly. A fantastic Three, start there for two, David, getting the 10 one. points. Five points left on offer. Let's see if Phil can do it. Hammer right there, waiting for Phil. Phil throws Hammer, but he holds on. Brings him down to the bottom. Up goes Hammer again. Doesn't go up too far. He won't give Phil much of a chance. Good tactics here from Hammer. Another beautiful tackle. He brings Phil all the way down to the bottom once more. Get up in, get up time in. being wasted. He's being told to get off, and he does now. Here goes Phil again. 
Can he get up there for the five? Tries to get to the other side, but the whistle blows. Oh, late tackle from Hammer. Oh, we'll see if the referees have got anything to say about that one. Real David and Goliath stuff here. The lightweight ducks, the heavyweight goes over the top, and David gets up there for 10 points. How do you feel, mate? And watch this tackle from Hammer. How do you feel, Phil? You know, Hammer has one heck of a reputation. I mean, when he hits you, you don't get up. Did you feel that way? Yeah, he hits hard, but I got up. <laughs> David, they were the fastest 10 points I think anybody in Gladiators has ever seen. Well, it's no secret, it was the fear of God. I just thought if he got a hold of me, I was history. So I just had to outmaneuver him, and that was all I did. Just go. Warrior. Now, I know normally the pyramid is not your game, but you've got to be a little bit disappointed with yourself. John, I'm absolutely disgusted with the performance. Could I have a really big boo from all the crowd because I deserve it? Thank you. Big boo, please. Thank you, because I deserve it. No boos for the Aussie battler. David 10, England get the score.